Great day everybody, welcome to Skill Up Dimension. Today we got here another video from audio software called Audacity. And today I would like to shortly tell you about what is equalizing and how you actually can use it for your audio. Okay, so let's say this is our audio track. First of all, select the part you want to equalize, depends of course on you, if you want to equalize the old track or just some parts, in my case I will, let's say, select this part and this part we want to equalize. So. Uh, after we highlight the part, we will go to effects and click on filter curve. So basically what equalization is. Equalization is a way of manipulating sound by frequency. It allows you to increase the volume of some frequencies and the reduce others. If you look closely at the curve on the graph, you will see it is composed of blue curve joining together a number of white circles and green curve which follows the general shape of the blue curve. Uh, the white circles are called control points. The blue curve is drawn by either clicking in the graph at any position or clicking on the blue curve and dragging it to a position. Doing either creates a control point at that position, then creating further control points draws the curve. To remove the control point, drag it outside the graph. The green curve is the one that actually Audacity uses to perform the effect taking into account the limitations of the equalization algorithm. The green curve is usually follows the blue curve closely, but will be forced to a smoother path if there are sudden changes in amplitude over a small frequency range. And next we got here linear frequency scale. When this box is unchecked, the horizontal frequency scale is logarithmic. It's given more detail at the lower frequencies. This corresponds roughly to our greater sensitivity to lower frequencies. When checked, the frequency scale is linear displaying equal frequencies ranges for each unit of the scale. This can be useful for precision adjustment at higher frequencies. So nextly, what you can see here is the vertical scale. Basically, the vertical scale is in decibels and shows the amount of gain. The amplification above zero decibels or attenuation below zero decibels. Uh, that will be applied to the audio at any given frequency. And nextly, we got here the horizontal scale. This shows the frequencies in Hertz to which volume adjustment will be applied. Dragging the equalization window wider displays some additional points on the scale and makes it easier to plot the graph accurately. Vertical scale sliders. By default, the vertical scale reads from plus 30 decibels to minus 30 decibels. But these two sliders to left of the scale let you adjust the upper and lower decibels values so as to change the visible range on the graph. Note that moving either slider changes the horizontal position of the zero decibel line. Reducing the visible range let, lets you make a finer adjustment to how loud the frequencies sound but the changes will be more subtle because the volume adjustment will be less. Okay, next we got here the flatten button. What is the quick way to set a level response curve? This means the curve on the graph is drawn from left to right at zero decibels, as you can see right now on the vertical scale, so that no frequencies will have their volume level modified. Invert turns the current curve into the window upside down, changing positive gains at a particular frequency into negative and vice versa, as you can see right now. And nextly we got here the show grid lines. It draws the grid lines on the window adding accurate positioning of control points. Okay, and same as at the previous videos, now we got here buttons preview by which you can preview the six seconds of your audio after this settings or after this equalization is applied. So let's preview. Nextly we got here Manage in which you can find again several uh, factory presets from which you can boost. So let's say the bus boost Le and now let's preview it again. Okay, that was really obviously the bus boost. So, but if you want to create your own preset, let's say we want a bit more like, uh, or let's say we want a little bit less of uh, these uh, buses. So let's say we want to save our preset to bus. We will click on OK. And then anytime in the future you will want to use this preset again, 
you can go and simply click on user presets and here is our bus. So preview. Still, it has quite a strong bus, but not as much as it was before. Okay, so it was the explaining of all the graph, all the buttons and everything what you can do at the filter curve EQ. So of course, in the end, it depends on you what you want to do. As you can see here, you can, for example, try it to set at AM radio to sound a little bit like in radio. And then you can simply click on OK to use this effect for your selected area or you can play out with those control points by your own and, and set up the best possible result for yourself. But this is not the only way how you can use the equalization in the Audacity. Except uh, this filter curve EQ which I just showed you there is one more way how you can equalize and this is the graphic EQ and as you can see even its equalization tool again it looks quite different in comparison with the previous one basically you can see here the multiple EQ sliders basically in the graphic EQ the equalization curve is drawn by manipulating a set of sliders each slider can adjust the gain of a specific range of frequencies and the gain being maximized at the frequency state on the slider. So let's say 20 Hz, we go to 10 decibels. Yeah, let's say just for example. So basically by clicking and dragging slider up or down, you can increase or decrease the volume by the maximum of 20 decibels, as you can see, and you can actually use tab for moving from one slider to another. Okay, so nextly, after the sliders, we got here again the buttons flatten, which are doing the same as at the previous equalization. It will just set all of the sliders at the default zero position, and the invert is working again at the same way as at the previous equalization tool. It will just turn plus values to minus values and vice versa. Uh, okay, same as at the previous equalization tool, we got here preview. And nextly Manage from which you can again choose from one of few presets that are already here. For example, Bass Boost, as you can see, it's quite as similar as the previous EQ curve at the previous uh, effect which we used. So let's preview. Yeah, and it uses again too much bosses. So, and again, if you want, you can save your own preset and nextly use it anytime in your future. But in the end, it's just on you how you want to use it, how you want to set uh, this equalization tool for your audio. Every audio is different. Everybody has a different software for recording and everybody has a bit different ears. Everybody likes something else else so basically this is why i can't tell you what are the best equalization settings for your audio but of course uh, you can choose if you want to use the graphic eq or you want to use the filter curve eq which i showed you before and you will decide in which you want to work they are doing basically the same thing and then you can play out with it and look for the optimal and the best result for you for me let's say i just a uh, little bit lower the basis of the previous effect and now let's listen let's say to our final audio of this video okay yeah it has still quite a strong basis but no problem click on okay and ladies and gentlemen that is all for this video i really hope you liked it i really hope i helped you if you want to see more similar videos just hit the like button if you want to support this channel please hit the subscribe button or you can become patron at our patreon page by what you can support our tutorial series at all and it's really all for this video so thanks for watching have a nice day and see ya at the next video Goodbye.